How high can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Up next, one of the youngest guests ever on NASA Edge, Elmo, a fellow redhead from Sesame Street. He's also shorter than you are, and he can count higher. Wow, that's just wrong. Actually glad for the for the warmth because that means the sun's out and it means we might actually be able to launch today. Oh, we will launch! Oh, I love your optimism. Yeah. Are, you, are you excited about the? Oh, I'm very very excited because Elmo normally watches this on TV. <laughs> so to to be here, it's really exciting. Awesome. Now, so you you've seen a shuttle launch, but never one in person. No. Oh, how exciting! Have you? Uh, yes, I've seen two, I believe. Really? Three. 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 Yeah. This will be my fourth. That's but, cool. Yeah, it's very And this exciting. one is called Atlantis. Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. I'm heard that they're named after um, ships. That's correct. Why? That's, a, that's pretty That's pretty good. But why? <laughs> oh, because well, they're uh, like ships. That's a good ships. question. And, huh? and those ships yeah. used to explore. Oh, they're like ships? Yeah, the, the, the old the ships. But they're not on the water. Right. They're they go up in the air. That's true. That's right. And they go into space. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's one of the differences, right. yes. And I'm going to have, what is it, 135 flights on the shuttle program? Yes. That's a lot. <laughs> Would you like to go into space one day? Oh, Elmer would love to. Yeah. yeah ha uh, have you been there? No. I, I can't no. say. Well, we don't know about him. He's from Parts Unknown. <laughs> oh, really? In fact, I had a question for you. Okay, go ahead. Shoot. Now, he's got red hair. And we were just wondering if there's any... Maybe you guys are related somehow? Well, it's not red enough. <laughs> no. Believe me. I, and, and it's getting uh, less red all really? the time. Yeah. yeah, age does that to you. Uh, sound like 40-something. Oh, really? Yeah, old. Well, you know, Elmer went inside the Space Shuttle Discovery. Really? It was really cool. Wow. How did you do that? Yeah. Well, well they let Elmo in. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Elmo met a lot of nice people at NASA, too. Who are some cool people you've uh, met so far? Oh, oh well, well, I'm going to meet Mr. Mike Mazzamino. Oh, <laughs> we love Mr. Mazzamino. Oh, and I got to meet his daughter, too. Oh, she's oh really? Nice too. He's a crazy astronaut, isn't he? No, he's really funny. He's funny, isn't he? He's also tall. Yes. Yeah. And, and you he... know, Elmo didn't know that they use math and science every day. All the time. They have careers as scientists, engineers, and of course, astronauts. <laughs> and technology. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So you like math and science? Yeah, Elmo does. Elmo <laughs> loves counting. <laughs> how, how high can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's it. Very good. That's, that's, yeah. very that's good. faster than you. Yeah, and really? probably more accurate. Yeah. Well, who is this? <laughs> well, we wanted to have you meet Spooner. Spooner is Hello, actually... Spooner. He doesn't really talk, though. That's yeah, I can't hear anything yeah. from him. Uh, Spooner is actually our mascot, and uh, he, he comes with us everywhere we go. What's a mascot? Well, he's uh, he sort of represents our, our, our program. He's uh, he's a very cool guy. He's, he goes everywhere. Uh, he gets in trouble quite a bit. Really? And so, yeah, we, we always have to discipline him uh, everywhere we go because he's always uh, hanging around and, and, and climbing on the things. And so He loves bananas. He loves bananas. If you, really? If you leave a banana out at breakfast and you turn away, you come back, it's gone. He's had the banana. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many? I'm up there. It's, it's four astronauts? Mm -hmm. Yes, four astronauts, up? yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Is that normally the, the, the only count? You can't get more or less? Well, more? actually, no. For this mission, uh, there's only four, but usually it's around seven seven astronauts on it. <laughs> Really? Yeah. yeah. But well, why four? Well why, well, why four is because uh, we actually are carrying up more equipment this time. And in fact, no. Oh, so they need, you need room for other things. We need more weight. Plus, we, you know, this is the last shuttle mission. So in case something happens with the shuttle, yeah. we don't have more you know, more astronauts to leave on station. Right, they're, they're bringing back some stuff, that's, too. That's right. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. They're replacing a, a pump of some kind, I believe, they're bringing back. And, and they don't want to leave it out in space anymore, so they bring it back. And well, where are they getting it from? From the ISS. The International <laughs> Space Station. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was a hotel. Well, it's well, kind of like a hotel. What do you know really? what? One day, Elmo, we may have hotels in space. Imagine that. No, really? Can you imagine it's taking true. a vacation one day where you just call up and you may have a space hey, let's shelter? Let's go to a holiday here in the <laughs> <of> space. <laughs>
They could. We could, we could, you, could book, you could book a weekend getaway. That would be cool. It would. Yeah, and with the miles you have to fly to get there, you would earn your room. You probably wouldn't even have to pay for it. That's right. Really? Yeah, it would be free space miles. <laughs> yeah, you get flight. You know, I'm already thinking about a ladder. You were talking about building a ladder that could go all the way up in space. Oh, the space elevator. Yes, yeah, space elevator. Very oh, really? good. That would mm -hmm. take a long time to climb up it, though. <laughs> well, how would you build something like that? Well, it, that's a it, good it, question. It's somebody above my pay grade who would be able to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you can help out one day. Because all that oh, science, math, you. and technology that you're going to be learning. That's yeah. what you have to do. You yeah. have to study in school. Don't do what I did and just play all the time. you got to actually apply yourself. Learn your math and science. I'm going to hit that, that when it goes up, it actually lands back here in Florida. Yeah, it sure does. That's cool. Isn't it? You know, it doesn't have to land in Florida. No, I'm going to hit that, too. It, it, can land, it can land in California. Too. Yes, absolutely. And then, it, and then it gets on board at 747. Big jumbo jet and it flies back over to, to Kennedy. That's how it gets back here. Yep. Yes. Wow, that's cool. I really didn't know that. Isn't it? And, and, it, and maybe we'll show you, uh, maybe show the aircraft one day. That would be cool. You, you it is really, it. it is really an awesome really? vehicle because yeah. inside there aren't seats like in a regular jet uh, airplane that you fly on. It's all empty because it had to be reinforced to carry the shuttle back and forth. Yeah. Wow. Really but, fun stuff. But you're well. This is really fascinating. <laughs> But you're well on your way, Elmo, because you already got the flight suit on. You got yeah, the Yeah, they made this for Elmo. Isn't that cool? You're yeah. ready to and go. And Elmo got the orange one, too. The orange <laughs> the flat. Flat. Yeah. yeah, the one that they, like that, the orange one. Yeah. Like, the, the, like, like your friend has one. Yes. That's the uh, the Desert Rats uniform. Oh, is that what, why did they call it that? Well, it's the Desert's Research and, uh-oh, uh-oh. You're talking about the orange flight suits on the on shuttle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, that's, that's, that's out of my pay. False information. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's actually not false information because the ones they use aren't like the flight suit material. I mean, they've got all the valves and gas. Hey, no arguing, everything. okay? I guess. No, no arguing. <laughs> hey, Elma, do you do counseling? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Elma, we, we're so glad you had a chance to stop by with us today. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. And, and I hope oh, you enjoy the great. launch in, oh, like, Elma, in yes. less than a half hour. And, okay. and you, are you going to scream really loud when it goes up? Of course! I'm just gonna say bye! See you soon! Are you, are you, gonna, are you gonna do the countdown for us? When you yes! I'm gonna can't wait to do that. Why don't you do a practice for us to okay. the audience? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! There you go! We even have sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, hey, I'm just gonna go and see his mommy and daddy now. Yeah, okay, okay And say hello for us. Uh, thanks for talking to him. Oh, and you take care too, Mom. What's his name again? His name's Spooner. Okay, take your Spooner. Hey, you're watching NASA Ed. An inside and outside look at all things NASA. Yeah, baby. <laughs>